Hello Capsulea, my name is Gildy and welcome to EVE Online. So, you're a new player, got through the tutorial, even finished the career agent paths already, went through all that and now what? Or you're a player that has been winning EVE for a while, but you just got that itch again that no other space game can scratch. So you install the game, get back, look at all your assets and wonder what should you do. Join a player on corporation, get out of the NPC one and start discovering New Eden. That's what you should do. I will try to answer a few questions in this video. First of all, why are player owned corporations good for you and why you should join one? What are some questions you can ask a potential recruiter and what are some red flags to look out for? So, why do people recommend newbies and returning players to not stay alone and join a player-owned corp? First and foremost, it's someone to talk to. I myself quit EVE once after I started playing fully, after I got burned out, but ended up coming back for the people I knew. One person I know even has a saying that EVE is just a chat service with fancy graphics and it is so true because yes, you got a vast, deep sandbox experience here but sometimes the most fun I got here was doing the silliest thing with a bunch of friends be it defending our home systems from insurgencies and raking in billions worth of kills with cheapest ships we can get or taking out battle logi of all ships and yeeting into Nullsec to catch unsuspecting players and actually shoot back, rather than rep. Another benefit, tying to the first one, is that if you join an active corporation that does content you are interested in, it gets way easier. It's as simple as that. You like PvE and need some people for home fronts? Ask corpmates. You want to start low sec or wormhole gas harvesting operations where you scan for sites and group up? Ask corpmates. Want to set up your own stations for industry or mining? Believe it or not, corpmates. Being in an active corporation makes it way easier to enjoy the game and enjoy more of it. Lastly, a point that is a big one for me is that you get to know what you don't know. As I mentioned previously, EVE is a massive game. There are so many things to do there that you might not even think of. Being in a player-owned corporation, especially one that does a variety of content types, can broaden your horizons, allow you to thrive and have fun. Just one example, in the insurgencies I mentioned, we had a lot of players that were just mining, not doing anything else really, and they were fine with that. Then insurgencies came to our systems, threatening us with making systems lawless and having opportunists bash down our Athenors. So the corporation called out to the mining players to help defend our space and defend they did. Not only the first four hours of my first insurgency consisted of rushing from site to site, commanding a bunch of Kerbers, trying to push back anything up to and including cruisers in the sites, we had tons of fun and if I remember correctly lost around 100 million of cheap cormorant holes while getting 800 million worth of pirate kills. Since then, we did it again and again and made a lot of people decide that joining organized PvP is fun. I think those are the three biggest points that tie to each other and also make player-made corporations, especially ones for new players, so good for making sure you will stay and keep playing the game because EVE can be complex and can be frustrating, for sure. Now, on to the second and third points combined. What should you ask about when applying to a corporation? What to look for and what are some red flags that might mean that the corporation you are joining, or just joined, might not be the best for you? First and foremost, look at the tax rate of the corporation. NPC corporations have a flat 11% tax on your PvE activities, which includes project discovery, ratting, home fronts and mission payouts. So, if a corporation has a bigger one or a similar one to NPC corporation tax, it is something to think about and ask during the recruitment. I am not saying that it's immediately bad, because some corporations, like in Nullsec blocks, 
might have a 10 to 15% tax set to make sure they can keep all their infrastructure up. But in general, if you see a high tax rate, do ask what is being done with that money, is there anything that corp members are actually getting back out of it? For HiSec, common practice for some newbie corps is to have 0% tax to lure newbies in, but those can be some mass recruiting, not giving any benefits to the player mills, rather than player corporations that want you to stay and keep playing. In my own experience, 2.5 to 5% tax is healthy, provided that the corporation provides you with some services. Those services can range from ship replacement programs, SRP for short, which means paying you some of the ship costs if you lose it during fleets, mining and production stations with low or no tax to corp members, to cheap starting ships for newbies or handouts for them to incentivize you joining fleets. Talking about taxes, also make sure you understand the taxing system in the corporation. Back in the day, I joined a Nolsec corporation, which was the entry point to the whole alliance. What I found was that they had a system telling you to pay a percentage of what you mined on the characters in the alliance. Thing was, it was designed as a tax for mining moons, but they also had no problem whatsoever with taxing your ice, regular ore and even high sec ore mining that I did while working from home during the lockdown on alts. Then if you wanted to use their buyback, it was of course a 90% Gita buy price putting yet another tax on the same ore you would want to sell. Another point to look at, to make sure you are getting into a corporation that will have some content for you, or if the corporation just looks great on paper, is the player counts. A good question to a recruiter would be how many people can you see during the day sitting around and interacting in the corp chat. There are some corporations I mentioned before that will spam their recruitment messages in chats, email new players and do everything they can to balloon their player count. Some of those will boast with having a thousand, two thousand players even, and when you join the corporation is the CEO and five of his buddies chatting, plus maybe 10 to 15 more people lurking in the corp. If a thing like this happens, just keep looking for a better place, because if they do not provide help to new players and they never remove inactive members, it most likely is not a great place for you to discover New Eden. Last point I want to touch on, though there are probably a lot more, but I can't squeeze them all into a video, is to look at what does the corporation offer to new and returning players. If they are a newbie friendly corp, do they offer any guidance? Do they have any written or video guides? Do they organize any newbie friendly fleets? Can you actually join their regular fleet operations as a new player or do they tell you to kick sand and salvage after someone running missions or sites for half a year before you can actually join them with proper ships? Not every corporation will have a massive library of guides and information. You can always supplement a lot of it through videos you find, posts on forums, etc. But a newbie friendly corporation should first and foremost be aligned towards answering questions and making sure you can go out there and have fun, which makes you want to keep playing EVE and stay with them. To summarize the above, I want to share a few thoughts common from my own experience. I will probably catch some bitter vet comments from Nolsec for this, but I think that joining a Nolsec block right off the bat is a bad idea for you. I did that the first time I started playing, years before I made Guildy. Got thrown a bunch of ships at me and told that's it, have fun. I don't think I lasted a month before I quit. I'm not saying Nolsec bad, don't touch it. What I want to say is that Nolsec is a high skill and high risk area for a reason. If you don't want to run in, being able to barely fly anything and try to min-max your way to wealth while you ignore most of the game has to offer, go for it. But having lived in high sec the most, a good chunk of time in Nolsec and a bit in low sec, starting in high security space 
is the best you can do because first you learn the game in a safe-ish environment, you can discover and train into a lot of types of content and you have a truly massive space to do it in. Nullsec, thanks to alliances forming massive blocks, can be Highsec 2.0, where any enemies are dealt with pretty quickly. But any one alliance-controlled Nullsec area is way smaller than Highsec and has its own set of rules that I have seen force people to ignore the rest of the game, one being that they are permanently wardecked in Highsec, so they cannot really go there because one of the hunters is gonna catch them and blow them up. Then those same people go into Highsec or tell newbies that Highsec is a very scary and dangerous place and how it is weird because they never played there and never understood so many of the mechanics that don't make Highsec a worse but a different place. Another advantage Highsec has is that you can jump into any other space for PvE and PvP content from there while you keep your assets in relative safety. Want to go ninja mining or gas hafen in nearby Losec? Go ahead. Want to day trip into wormholes? Sure, that way. Want to filament into Nullsec to PvP in a small gang, steal banks etc? Nothing stops you. Want to suddenly stop doing all that and not have to interact with other groups while you do your own thing? Well, you won't have to asset safety all your belongings and pull them from camped Losec system, they are already in high sec, waiting for your next adventure. If you want some recommendations as to where would be a good place to start looking for a corporation that will help you to get on your feet and understand EVE Online, I can give you some pointers and then let you know how to look for corporations on your own. First and foremost is EVE University, part of the Ivy League Alliance. It is a great organization that has been teaching players for 20 years and they also host EVE University Wiki, a great source of information of all things New Eden. Second is EVE Rookies. It is a newbie-friendly community which focuses on getting new players into various, even high-level content types, helping them learn. You can join their fleets regardless of what corporation you are in. If you want to join directly to get more involved, EVE Rookies Academy and EVE Rookies Industry are open for people joining in. They are still growing that part out and adapting to what will come out of it, so you can give it a shot to be close to the pings about various fleets and other action. Last but not least, Astral Acquisitions. This is the corporation that I joined. Not as a newbie, but I have quickly liked how it works, as not only it has a sizable library of guides, chats where experienced players will share tips, answer questions about general gameplay issues, help with ship fittings, but we also organize at least once a week an NPSI, which stands for Not Purple Shoot It, fleets. This means that we go out as a community and have simple fun and blow other ships up or die trying. This corporation was also one of the reasons why I decided to make this channel, to expand the library of the guides that we can share and to accumulate as many newbie-friendly materials as possible. Astral is always recruiting, so if you feel like you want to try as many types of content as possible or simply want to join our public friendship fleets, hop onto the Discord and have a chat. If you don't like the sound of any of them, you can look for a corporation in-game, using either the Neocom and the Corporation, Find New Corporation, by joining in-game recruitment chats, or by going to e-forums or reddits that have sections about promoting their own corporations. And that is it for this week. If you have any genuine advice for new players, want to promote your own corporation because you're doing something cool to keep more players in EVE, Share it in the comments. Let's make this a welcoming place for new players to gain speed and have fun in the game. If you enjoyed this video, share it with a corp mate that might need it, leave a like and subscribe to see my future uploads. If you are interested in what I will talk about next, my videos go up every Sunday. And if we never see each other in space again, Capsulea, fly safe!